Welcome, Greg. Thank you so much for coming and, and also for coming at such a last minute. Um, really appreciate it and sorry that, you know, we've lost some people. Um, but anyway, um, I do think the world of uh, Village um, Capital after um, going to your event last week and mentoring and um, I was wondering if you could tell me what led you into a focus on the fintech robo-advisors domain? Sure. So um, there's a couple of, I always caveat these kinds of questions with and pick a geography because uh, Village Capital invests both in the U.S. and also in Latin America, East and West Africa, and India. Um, we actually have a robo-advisory investment in India, a fairly new one. Um, so uh, in terms of our kind of global fintech viewpoint, um, especially working with early stage companies in the sector, um, we just see, uh, well, number one, this is a trend that's not going to turn around. Um, technology is going to further integrate in the um, financial systems, whether the banks, core banks, or otherwise like it or not. Um, I think a lot of them are getting smarter about it. And uh, in emerging markets, it's kind of an interesting race to see if there's going to be a leapfrog or not. Um, and then in terms of uh, market solution uh, for, you know, our focus is generally on undervalued markets. So um, in the U.S. that would be small and medium-sized enterprises, community banks, um, you know, where there's significant uh, potential for an increase in enterprise value and also to serve millions of Americans. Um, and then in emerging markets, it's the same thing. So the unbanked, underbanked, uh, folks that don't have access to credit, um, folks that don't have access to savings accounts, or it's not made easy based on the banks in their country. Um, so we've invested in companies that are trying to you know, move the needle for them and uh, provide affordable and high quality um, financial services. And so where do you... Um um, yeah, so you've basically told me about Village Capital. So where do you think it's all going as far as the future goes with robo-advisory? Sorry, I must have just had a blank moment. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Um, I think, I mean, it's, uh, it's an application of, you know, putting code to work uh, to help people move the needle on their investments. Um, I think that it, robos are kind of unique in the sense that it's a very kind of personal play, at least in the United States, um, where people are very attached to the Betterment and Wealthfront and Wise Banyan and Acorns and Stash accounts. Um, and it's been, uh, I think, a testament to the level of customer engagement that these companies have put forth to uh, kind of engage with their clients. Um, so it, it, the difference between robos, I think, and I think we'll probably get into this in the panel, and index funds is uh, just the level of personal attention. Um, does that matter in the end? I don't know. It's still playing out. Um, so do people only care about yield? Um, you know, I think that that's an open, that's an open debate. Okay. okay. But it's all marching towards bigger, faster, stronger. And, and I, I really like the, I'm right on the side of the human part of it. So <laughs> yeah. I just think, you know, it's just good to have a mix of human and tech. I think so as well. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming and I'm looking forward to the panel. Thank you very much for having me.